Look who's here. Hi guys, I'm Ryan, Rachel's husband. I'm not really in these videos that much, but today we're gonna be trying something new. So Rachel. Yeah, so we just got back from our Walt Disney World trip for the Disney Princess Half Marathon weekend and thought it would be kind of cool if we went around World Showcase in Epcot and picked up a snack or a candy or something from each country and that way we could take them home and try them. Because yeah. we eat so much food in Epcot, but we don't really eat snacks. No, generally. not really. Not when we're there usually. Yeah. Not... We, more, we more so stick to like just typical meals and that's about it. Right. It gets really hot walking around all day. Yeah. So now that we're home up here in cold Pennsylvania, we're gonna try really something cool. new. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try some snacks. We started a little differently. We didn't kind of start in a, we didn't start at the beginning of the World Showcase. We started in France. So, France it is. We'll yeah. start with France and we'll make our France. way around. Sounds oh, good. and side note, we did miss two countries. We missed Morocco and we missed America because America, what, Hershey, we live here. Hershey's kiss. And there's the peanut butter crackers, like, what do you expect? Peanut butter crackers. <laughs> it's an American thing. <laughs> yeah. But there's like funnel cakes in America, and I don't know. We just decided there wasn't really anything for us to bring back that we, you guys wouldn't already be interested in. So, um, so yeah, we, we'll skip Morocco and America, um, but every other country we hit. So here we go, France right. to France. To France. To France. <laughs> All right. So these are the goodies in France. These are, yeah, we found these little chocolates and we figured they'd be a good size to try, right? Yeah. Which one do you want to get? Um, I don't know. This don't one's know. dark chocolate. Oh, dark cocoa beans, okay. What's this one? Milk chocolate nougat. Um, I'm gonna be trying this one because this is white lemon, which sounds bizarre to me. I don't think I'll focus on that. White lemon. And then we have a milk, and that's some sort of like caramel, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try this one. Which one do you wanna try? That one? Milk chocolate? Mm -hmm. You gonna do a regular one? Or caramel? Caramel's in this. Yeah. Okay, cool. These are our goodies from France. We have our cute cups of water. What is yours? Mine's Ariel, and there's little floaty, glittery things in there. Mine's the sci-fi, I don't know if you can see it too well. Yeah, sci-fi, like, dine-in. Sci-fi dine-in. Um, we love going there. It's a pretty cool place. Yeah. So, yeah. In Hollywood Studios. Yes. All right. Got a little flounder on my straw. Well, Mr. Flounder, you can wait. Okay. Canada. France. No, not Canada. France. What am I? France Sorry, is first. Anyways. France is first. So, in France. This one's yours. What are, what a couple these? of these countries, we picked up different things because they were small. Disclaimer, we're going to pronounce everything really wrong, but we're gonna try our best to pronounce some of these words. But uh, yeah, so this is, that's an M, right? I don't Maxim's know, I can't see it. <laughs> de Paris. So what kind of chocolate is it that you're trying? My chocolate, it says on the back, white lemon nuggets, okay. nuggets. Nuggets. Nuggets, nuggets, potato, potato. Yeah. yeah. But I thought white chocolate and lemon sounded really weird, but really good. So I, that's what I'm trying. What are you trying? I am trying this, uh, let's see. Milk caramel nuggets is all it says. So I guess. So milk chocolate and caramel probably. Yeah, something okay. like that. So here we go. Okay. Peace I brushed peace. my teeth before this. It might taste weird. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I thought it would maybe have a filling in it, but it doesn't, huh? Does it taste caramely? It's got like a caramel taste to it, like in the chocolate, like infused. Um, it's not like you open it, like you crack it open and there's like a bit of like fresh caramel just like oozing out. So it's interesting. Save a um, piece for me, I'll try it too. Kind of chewy, but not bad. Mm. 
Yeah, the caramel's almost like an afterthought. Yeah. Like you don't taste it at first. But it's kind of nice to have a caramel flavor without it being like um, sticky, sweet caramel in the middle. Yeah. I like that, it's good. Okay, lemon white chocolate. Mmm. Good. Whoa, these are really good. Good, yeah. You want hobbies? Sure. It tastes like fresh lemon. Yeah. That's really good. That's pretty cool. Um, I want more of these. Well, I guess when we go back, mm. hopefully they'll still be there. <laughs> I love citrus flavored anything. And I love good white chocolate. Good white chocolate is awesome. I feel like we're gonna get really bright and really dim at some parts. We're actually trying to use natural lighting today. So sorry if we all of a sudden get really bright and <laughs> a little dimmer because our window's right next to us, so. I swear we're not, like, I'm not wearing any sort of set makeup and <laughs> yeah, so you wouldn't even know anyways. So I'm a man, men don't wear makeup, what? Anyways, continue on. I don't put makeup on him. No, especially if I'm in front of camera. But anyways, so this back, is so good. This was topic. this was delicious. I would buy these again, hundred percent. And I think these these cost us like a little under a dollar each, mm -hmm. or maybe maybe they were like fifty cents. I might have paid like a dollar for both of them. Yeah, it was something like that. Which is pretty great because you think Disney, you think everything is really expensive, but sometimes when you want like a little tiny treat, these would be perfect. Yeah, those would be great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So next on our list, we have Japan. Japan. We are in Japan. And there is so much to choose from in here. Hello Kitty, marshmallows. What is that? They're good stuff. Chocolate, you've had those? Yep. They look like chocolate covered bugles. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> is that kind of what they are maybe? No. <laughs> These look like, just like biscuits. Do they eat a lot of biscuits? Not really, it's like crunchy like bread. Yeah, like a biscuit. <laughs> That's what that means. No, biscuit is soft. No, like a crunch, like a biscuit cookie, I mean. These are pretty good. These are like gummies. Green tea flavored? Yeah. That might be kind of fun. Are these edible pencils? That's insane. Oh, it's wrapped. It's wrapped up. Okay. <laughs> Choco baby. Choco baby. Oh my gosh, we have so many options. I heard these are really good too. These drinks. Did you have any of these drinks? No. Like melon soda. I've heard it's good. I thought this is, that's what this one is. Melon soda. Strawberry sounds good to me too. Made with real sugar. Mm -hmm. Is this soda you'd let me drink and not yell at me for? No, I'd probably still yell at you. All the chips. She drink a lot of soda. Yes, she does. She loves it. She lives off of it. I don't live off of it, yes, but I, I enjoy it. She does enjoy it. And at least this has real sugar instead of the fake stuff. Yeah. There's so many options in here. I don't know how we're ever going to choose. These are pretty good. How have you, have, there's no way you've had all of this. Not all of it, but I've had some of this stuff they sell. These I think I've had before actually. And I've definitely had Pocky before. We gotta pick something. I, I really have no idea how we're gonna decide because there's so much. Cookies and cream Pocky just sounds delicious. I've had Pocky before though, so I don't wanna do something I've had before. Yeah, but you know more about it. These look adorable. There's a little happy. Bunny and soy sauce season. Ooh, that is freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what these are. Maybe we'll get these. Okay, let's go check out them. Hold on. Candy sushi? Candy sushi. Can oh, candy donuts. What? Oh, and candy ice cream cones? I do love donuts. I do love donuts. She lives off of bolts, lemon soda. Are they little, like, are they actually kind of, dough? It's like, it's like a cookie. 
Oh wait, are you supposed to make this? Yep. Oh my gosh, it's like a kit. Yep. That loses its appeal a little bit, but that is pretty cool. It looks like something that goes in an easy bake oven. Yep. Okay. It's a hard decision. We're still in Japan. And I just got really excited because we have parakeets, four of them, and I love them very much. Stitch, Alice, Hook, and Pan are their names. Yes, they are. <laughs> Look what we found. Oh my gosh. So who does that resemble? This looks like Pan the most. Why does it look like Pan? Because he has a yellow head. Okay. Yeah. Hook has a yellow head too, but not as much yellow. He's so cute, and they have a neck pillow for the airplane. My heart just melted. He's not gonna let me bring them home. Nope. But they're really cute. Yeah, I'd say they're cute. <laughs> Woohoo, Japan! Japan! Japan is an amazing country, by the way. A um, little side note, um, a tour musician, we went to Japan for a week. That was pretty cool. So if you ever get the chance to go there, do it. It's really neat. So we're gonna try something from Japan. Yeah. So what do we have? Ooh! I have to get the other thing from the fridge. The other thing? What other thing? We have two things for this. Oh, so what is that? What is, yeah. what is this that we have here? I forgot about this. Okay. What is it? So we have two things from Japan. We picked up melon soda. Now, this bottle's glass, and I think we have to follow the directions at the top because I think it's a little different is it in English? than a normal. Oh, yeah, it, is in English. There's, it is printed in English and it's nice. Um, Japanese. But by the way, side note: none of us can read Japanese, so no. no. <laughs> yeah, very, very <laughs> thankful this is printed in English. Now, melon in general wouldn't be the flavor choice that I would probably pick, um, just when I wanted a refreshing drink. But um, I had heard from other YouTubers and other um, people I follow on Instagram and stuff that um, have been over to uh, uh, Disneyland in Japan. That melon is like a really popular flavor over there for just a bunch of random stuff like melon soda, but also um, there's diff different treats, I believe, and stuff that are flavored melon. So I'm like, ah, if it's popular over there, then we should try that one over top of like strawberry or something that would be more expected. So this cool. is number one and then Japan was such a fun pavilion. There were so many candies that I, I was a little overwhelmed. Like out of every pavilion that we went to in World Showcase, there was so much and I wanted everything. <laughs> everything was colorful and bright and fruity looking. And um, we ended up picking this because we had no idea what it was. Um, there's no English on this label whatsoever. Um, and the only kind of hint we had was strawberry and orange up in the top corner. And I guess there's no egg and no milk and no wheat. It's kind of like labeled down there, which is kind of nice for people who have allergies and stuff. It's good to know. Can I have my face? Sorry. <laughs> She's like just going on a rant, not paying attention. Don't hey mind, you know. Hi, what's up? I'm just a bag with red hair and a beard popping out. <laughs> just ignore me. <laughs> okay, so, um, so let's open this soda first so we can see how to do this. So it says it's served, you have to serve it cold. It, it wasn't cold when I got it, so I'm glad I remembered to put it in the fridge like an hour ago. Um, remove the plastic film from the top, pop out the center from the cap, which will be used to open the bottle. Okay, so we have to remove. So hold on, don't, it, there's more yeah. directions. Place the opener on the top of the bottle and place down firmly. Drink with the indented neck side facing down to the trap. Yeah. Down to trap the mop, the marble. There's a marble in here. Enjoy the drink. Is there a more, I don't that, This is why it's a little weird. I'm like, let me make sure I'm doing this right. So let's, so, do I? Yeah. Wait, I don't wanna do it wrong. Okay. Pop out the center from the cap, which is, can you do that? Yeah, pop, sure. So pop out the center, okay and then place the opener at the top of the bottle and press down firmly. This? So, yeah, just like that. It's not going to... Here, I'll hold it up so they can see. It's now, not... And that, that's what you're supposed to do, and press that down. Uh, this isn't like... <laughs> to trap the marble. Dude, I'm gonna push down here really hard. I hear it, you got it. Ah, man, this thing is like... 
Are we doing it right? Jeez. I hope so. It looks like it from the photo. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! That's crazy. So now the marble's in there? What does the marble even do? I don't know. Hey, there's English on here, never mind. Caution. <laughs> well, yeah, I said there was English on this, not on this one. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, wait, so how do I even drink this? Do we Sorry, just drink guys, it like I this? I kind of forget things easy. This is crazy. What? There's like a marble floating okay, in there. Okay, so try it. That's so cool. Okay. Take Does anyone know the purpose of the marble? If you know the purpose of the marble, comment below because this is fascinating to me. I want to okay. take a guess, like maybe it might be some sort of sealant for like the, keep the drink. Keep the drink from well coming out maybe when it's up, like, if it turns. Or like well carbonated so like it doesn't lose its like soda effect or whatever. I, I don't know, I'm just making a guess. It makes a noise. Yeah. <laughs> so entertaining. Okay, you ready? Sure, go ahead. Wow, it's like, hmm, okay, hold on. It tastes a little bit like, um, like Sprite, but yeah, instead of citrusy, it's more melony. Here we go, Bob's Because it is carbonated. It's like a really fruity. It's, it's very sugary, like very sweet. But it's not like the harsh sugar like that you taste here in um, soda here in the United States. It's like very light. It's like that has a weird light feeling to it. That's probably the melon flavor, I think, that's Maybe probably I, making it yeah, taste light know. because I think it's pretty sugary. But it's not that harsh sugar taste that soda is here. It's different. I like it. I probably actually would drink that on a regular basis. It's refreshing. It's yeah. very refreshing. Okay, we just open the bag. And so these are... It smells kind of weird. Oh. Um, I don't know. They are individual. Oh! What is it? So they're individually wrapped, but they almost look like Smarties. It's pretty cool. All right. Here we go. Okay. Okay. These look like giant oversized pills. We're both speechless a little bit. Okay, so basically my thoughts on these are I would probably never buy these again. They taste kind of chalky, like like tongues. So at first they're not satisfying, and then you chew it, and it gets a little sweeter. I feel like these are like a vegan option for sweet tarts or something like that. I don't know, vegan, but whatever. So yeah, they're they're light. They're like a fluffy. Are like, sweet tarts already? Be, I don't even know if they're <laughs> vegan. I don't, know if you can, I don't think you can claim they're vegan. Probably not. But I don't know. They're. I don't know. Probably just like these. They're definitely not my favorite thing. Okay. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> um. I like the sweetness. I just wish they were a little bit more. Um, Crunchy versus like dissolved chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate word is today. It dissolves like chalky flavor. Chocolate flavor. Okay. Well. Moving on. Yeah. That's why we have water. Okay. Next. Italy. Italy! Cutie! <laughs> Cutie in Italy. Hello! What are those things down there? I don't know. They look delicious. I don't like cream. Are they? It's cold, yeah. What are all the flavors? Sorry, I just hit you caramel. with my ears. This is caramel. Oh, okay. This is Choco Party. I don't know what chocolate party is. It's hazelnut. Delicious. So hazelnut, chocolate party, and caramel. And, caramel. and these just look like oh. Ryan. I think this, oh yeah, they have other stuff too. Spoon, cookies. They have a lot of yummy stuff over here. Those look good. Coffee cream filling. I think these look the Ooh, most fun. Here's limoncello. What's that? A little spirit chocolate, I'm guessing. Oh. 
That's kind of cool. There's Italian crunchy cookies. Skin. Ryan, what would you like to try over here? I was thinking about grabbing one of these. Yeah. I think I want to do the hazelnut one. Do you want to do this one? You want to do the choco well, party? Does this have ice cream in it? I don't think so. I think it's just in here because it's chocolate to keep it cold. It just looks like an ice cream cone, but it's just chocolate. Chocolate spoon. I'll yeah, there's. This. You want to have a chocolate spoon? Is there? Is it just chocolate, or is there something on it? I, I, I don't know. I'll try it. Okay, so you're gonna get that. Actually, no, false. <laughs> just kidding. Ch milk with coffee cream filling. Yep. You want to try that? Yep. Okay. So what do we have? In Italy, we got two different things. I'm excited to try mine. I forget what flavor yours is. I don't know. We wrote it down, to, or no, we took a picture of what this flavor was. I want to say it was coffee. Coffee? From Boston, Like a chocolate coffee. coffee? I forget, but here. So he got a chocolate. It's just kind of a single chocolate. Hey, does it match my beard? Maybe. No. Yes. Why does it need to match your beard? I don't know. Um, and I got... This looks like um, an ice cream cone, and I had heard that it's in a cone. Um... And it's hazelnut flavored. So I'm hoping it's kind of like a waffle cone with Nutella in it. That's kind of what it sounded like to me. So I am amped on this one. I've been eyeing this one up since I found it. All right. So let's try it. You want to go first? You go yeah, first. Go I'm ahead. First. All right. Unwrapped it. Obviously, you see that. So I'll take a bite. That's pretty good. What does it taste like? Um. It's got like a light coffee flavor to it. It's very okay. soft. It's not like really milky chocolate. It just like kind of dissolves pretty well in so your mouth. It's very creamy. Very creamy, but it doesn't, it just stays in one area of your mouth. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm trying here. So. Does it really taste like coffee? I don't like coffee. I love coffee, but I gotta start getting off of it, unfortunately. But yeah, so I. Would I like it or no? Probably not. Okay, then I'm not gonna try it. So yeah, that was pretty good. The guy actually at the register when we were buying these told Ryan to try a different flavor than that one because he didn't like that one as much as some other one. But Ryan wanted to stick with this one anyway. So you would buy it. You would eat it again though. Yeah, I would eat it again. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm gonna make a mess with this. This was actually in a refrigerated section. I haven't refrigerated it since. I think it was just trying to keep it from melting. Um, but look how cool this is. It looks like an ice cream cone. Ooh, ice cream, How yeah. fun. It has like, I don't know what those things are. We both love ice cream. Oh, hey, there's my face. I'm in the background, cool. Oh, no, there I am fading out. It's like little, um, I don't know, crispy looking things. Crispy so, looking things? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Take a bite. I feel like, where do I even bite? Just, yeah, there you go. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Um, more chocolatey than I expected it to taste like. Um, it's like a creamy chocolate filling with a little waffle cone. Wow. It's only filled with chocolate. If I finish this whole thing now, I won't get through the rest of these snacks, so I might have to put this down and go back to it later. It's okay. I haven't eaten lunch yet, and it's like right before lunchtime, and I'm like mm -hmm. ready to eat anything in sight, so I'm just like kind of trying to not devour everything in sight. You know what this is for? This is for people that really like the bottom of um, what are those cones called that you get that come like this that ice cream cones basically ice cream cones that look like this What are those but called? It's like the bottom is filled with chocolate. Do you know what I'm talking about? And they fill the bottom with chocolate so it doesn't leak out That's like this, but it's the whole thing yeah. So for people like me that love that chocolatey taste at the end of that ice that kind of ice cream cone Yeah, so what if you know called? if you know leave a comment below because we love brain like, fart Yeah, this is like we're terrible with this kind of stuff. I want to say it starts the D Um I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh man, I can't believe I'm blanking on that. But that's what this reminds me of. And it's delicious. It's super creamy and the little crispies on top are fun. So it has like a slight hazelnut flavor, like a chocolate hazelnut, but it's definitely more just like smooth chocolate with that like undertone to it. 
cut undertone to it. Okay, put it down. We gotta move on. So you have to. Moving on to Germany. Germany. Where there's caramel, aka the most delicious store in all of Epcot. Sorry, ma'am. So we were gonna get caramel, but I already had caramel this week because it's that good and it's kind of predictable. Yeah. And there was a long line. So we came into the other side of Germany instead. And I think we're gonna go with these. Oh, maybe not the sour cream ones. Just salted. Fries in a bag. You can try some fries in a bag. Although all these gummies look really good. Fries in a bag. Fries in a bag. Have you ever had fries in a bag? Never had fries in a bag. <laughs> I feel like I've heard someone talk about these before. Palm sticks. Palm sticks. I guess. I guess it's how you pronounce it. Palm sticks. That's what I guess. Pretty much, these just look like fries or potato chips. That, like, instead of potato chips, they're fries. So, we're back. Sorry. <laughs> that was weird. Hope I didn't lose any footage, I'll cry. But these are really good. We've already eaten, like, half the bag. <laughs> As we were trying to fix the camera. Sorry, that was rude. <laughs> See what I married? Lot to live with? No. She's great. <laughs> Sounds like you really mean that. Uh, I can't win. <laughs> Love you. Anyways. Love you. You're giving them potato chips, fool. They're good. They're very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for you to finish before we move on to the next country. <laughs> we found Ryan's favorite snack. Mm hmm. <laughs> We have China. China. All right, ginger cheese. I really hate ginger, actually. Oh, they said these are good. They're cookies filled with stuff. I think I've had them before. Yeah, these are. They sell these at Wegmans, but they're good. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's probably why I've had them before, because someone was able to get them. Ooh, those are good. Sour gummy bears. They don't look very authentic, but that's Mango okay. fruit candy. What is this? Ooh, what is this? Tea candy? What is this? Tea candy might be kind of cool. I would probably actually like to devour these. Oh, these are amazing. Look at these before. What are these? These are like filled something, are they? Looks yeah. like chocolate and pomegranate. Is that pomegranate? Or raspberry? <laughs> or something weird. These look kind of cool. sesame with yeah. coconut. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I know. These are sticking out to me because I love white chocolate, but I don't know what the other part is. It it looks like almost like dragon fruit, maybe. Maybe it is dragon fruit. Does it say on the back? I might have to ask them if they know. I would try and figure it out, but it's all in Chinese. Yeah, yeah. So I just asked the lady about the candy that we just picked up. What I, is it? I believe it's candy, but she said. Well, we figured out half of it was chocolate, so I didn't even ask her that. But the other part, she said she compared it to a potato, but sweeter. So, so I have, like a sweet I have, potato, maybe? no, no. That's what she said, sweet and potato. So why would I don't pick know. sweet potato? I guess you're maybe you're right. I have no idea. Listen, I'm excited to try that one though. Line. I think I'm more excited to try that right now than anything else, just because I have no idea what to expect. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. China, we have co coca. Cocoa? Coca? Is it coca? I feel I feel kind of stupid. Just ignore what we're trying to announce, pronounce. Oh, gee. Um, I asked the girls at the counter what this was supposed to taste like, and they compared it to a potato. I don't know, but it looked to me like strawberry cream, and it's probably not going to be that. But we're going to try it out. I'm excited for this one. Oh, 
little nervous for this one too. Oh, Just these are packet. yeah. There's two packets like oh, this right. in here. There's four and, and one. Okay. It looks a lot more pink on this thing than it does in the packaging. Oh, I guess this, this is to keep it fresh. It's good. Should have brought scissors in here. Yeah. Ignore her using her teeth to open packaging. Very, very bad habit. Well, she opened it. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Oh, they're jelly. Okay, you get to try them first. Okay, so these look like straight Ooh. jelly. And I'm scared. Let me get a. They look like straight jelly. Oh, they smell good, though. But they smell good. Oh, come on. You have to put your hand behind it. But it looks like a grape, doesn't it? With like frosting on it. Like, look at that. It's like a. There we go. Yep. Looks like a grape, doesn't it? Here All we right, go. Try Thumbs it. up. I'm scared. What does it taste like? <laughs> it tastes like a giant, oversized, extremely soft gummy. Oh, really? Yeah. You have to eat the whole thing to get texture. Oh, this is weird. I kind of like it. I'm having another one. I've heard of these things before. I've never had one. I'm weird about texture sometimes and I think I'm gonna struggle to finish this because... Um, it's like a bread jelly. Yeah, like I like gummies, but this is like, because there's something in the middle. Mm, I didn't taste that. Which I believe is supposed to be white chocolate. I'm trying to eat that by itself and see what it tastes like. Yeah, I guess it's white chocolate. Interesting. Um, yeah, it feels like jelly. Very squishy. Squishy. I think it's the two textures combined that I'm struggling with, like filled gummy. I'm over these. Do you like these? No. Would you eat them again? I wouldn't buy these. No, I would not buy them again. They're weird. It's very different. It's very interesting. I, it's just not for me, I think. I'm sure a lot of people love these though. It's just, it's, I, it's getting over that texture that I think is really hard for me. But interesting, definitely interesting. Next we have Norway. Ryan is still eating these things from Germany. Put them down, we're hiding them. We're in Norway. What do we want to do? What are these? These just look fun because they have little, oh, it looks like sour candy. Sour gummies. What is this? Crunchy caramel candy bar. It feels really, really hard though, I don't know. Here's toffee and chocolate together. Mm. Is that like uh, Twix, but <laughs> their version? No, I think it's more like a Kit Kat. But like oh, that's what out. I meant, I guess. Yeah, like Kit inside Kat. out Kit Kat. Okay. Biscuits. Swedish Thins. This looks like chocolate bar with um, like air pockets in it. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. Cookies. What's hazelnut cream filling? Those might not be bad. You want to do that or do you want to do the gummies? The gummies look like sour gummies. Mm, let's do that. Never gonna finish the other stuff if he keeps eating the fries. This man's hungry. I know you're hungry, but this is what we're eating now. These guys, these cookies. So these are cookies with a hazelnut cream filling. Ballerina, they're called. I is, believe. Ballerina. Is that even how it's pronounced? Probably. I don't know. That's how it. That's how the American pronunciation. But I'm probably wrong. Dawson Vatican. But um, cookies with a hazelnut. Cream filling, so I just kind of thought maybe they're like Nutella flavored cookies. Oh, this is kind of cool. They're, um, I didn't even notice on the packaging, but it's chocolate, like a chocolate cookie on the bottom and vanilla on top. And uh, yeah, you got the cream filling. Okay. Bottoms up. Put on the tea. 
Hmm. These have an Oreo taste to them. They do. I was gonna say that too. They, they remind me of Oreos. Mm. Like I could 100% eat these all the time. These are delicious. I wonder if they sell these around here. I don't know. We have to look. I would eat these again. They're delicious. The cookie has like the same texture as an Oreo. The same kind of chocolatey flavor as an Oreo. Which is interesting because it looks nothing like an Oreo in like color. But. And then the filling's not too much. So I wouldn't compare it to like a double stuff Oreo. More like a regular. All around, I'd buy these again. Oh my god. Time for Mexico. Yay, Mexico! Mexico! So I was in Mexico earlier today, and this caught my eye. It is some sort of coconut treat, so we are going to go with this guy. Coconut. Coconut candy bar in the Mexican flag colors. Kind of cool. I'm kind of weirded out by it, but I'll give he's, it a try. He's nervous. I really like coconut. But I don't usually eat it like straight up like this. So I'm curious. I'm assuming all the flavors, the colors taste the same too. We'll have to. It just looks like a giant stick of bread with like a lot of sugar. It looks like, like a Rice Krispie treat to me because it's really heavy. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out momentarily. Can you bite it first? No, you can. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. So we'll put 911 on hold. I might die from this. Here I go. Bottoms It'll be up. fun. <laughs> Not for you. You can finish though. So you have to like coconut for this because it's just pretty much straight up coconut and like um, some sort of sugary kind of um, paste that holds it together. Side um, note. I love coconut. This is just too much for me to handle at once. It's if just it like, had chocolate on it, would you eat it? Probably. Or cheese. It's just too much coconut for you, I think. Cheese sounds pretty good. Cheese? Like, what, what, why am I talking about that? Cheese I, on coconut? I, I don't know. Anyways, moving on. That's so, not a thing, right? Maybe. No. Oh, that sounds horrible. It does. Okay. Let's say the artificial grass, like how green it is. That's some crazy food color they put in that. Is it different? The food coloring in this kind of scares me. It's so colored. It's very colorful. Let me eat the middle. It yeah. just looks like a giant bar of death that clogs your This nerves. is something that would take me like a month to finish because I feel like I'd take a bite of it and then I'm like, okay, I'm good. Set it aside. Because it's like, it's sweet and good, but. It's a lot of coconut. Did it turn my tongue green? No, I don't see it. I feel like I got it all up in my teeth now. Yeah. I feel like Did this is something for color? me. No. Okay. Something for <laughs> me like would last past the apocalypse of mankind. <laughs> like it would survive. It would sit on our, our shelf in here and he wouldn't ever touch it probably. <laughs> It'd be the last thing I'd eat on this earth if I had to choose. So Canada, oh Canada, oh Canada. 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 That's not how it goes. How do you know? Canada, Canada, oh Canada, Canada, we go. Last stop. Popcorn, maple cream cookies, maple lollipop, maple lollipop. Hmm. Maple popcorn. That sounds good. Maple caramel. Sugar. So, like, our emails can't eat them. They're so sweet. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. Maple sugar. Five pieces. 
I guess because it's so sweet. All right, Ryan. We could do, Rachel said this is super, super sweet. Okay. So we could try that, or we could get maple in another form. Like uh, either a lollipop or hard candy. Gonna do maple caramel. Are they here? Actual, like legit, you know. It's a little bit more expensive. Is that okay? Dude. It's fifteen. It's a lollipop. Pure maple syrup. Maple syrup lollipop. Do you wanna just do that instead? It's so, less expensive. Here we have a maple syrup lollipop. And shape. We could share that. Cause yeah. all right. I think I only want one because it's going to be so sweet. I'm probably not going to want right, to finish so it. We'll so we'll this. do that. Okay. okay. We ultimately decided to get a lollipop, a maple lollipop, 100% pure maple syrup is what it says. Um, we uh, had some other options like popcorn and um, there was maple candy, um, but ultimately for the price. And for like, we figured we wouldn't probably eat a whole box of maple candy knowing us. So we figured this was probably a better bet for us to try out. Um, Cause we could both take a couple licks, licks of it and then just kind of be done with it. So what is that exactly? It's straight up like maple sugar. Maple sugar what? Like Maple which, syrup, I mean. Yeah, but what, what shape is it? Oh, it's shaped like a maple leaf. Yeah, Canada's yeah. maple leaf. So let's make this, let's get this open. Are you struggling with it? Weird packaging. There we go. Okay. It smells like maple syrup. I love maple syrup. Okay. I'm not. So good. I'm not a big. I like sugary maple syrup. So like he'll eat the real stuff, <laughs> and I'm like Mrs. Butterworths with like all the sugar and butter in it. Is it's it, exactly what I would expect it to taste like. Is it the real stuff? It's sugary though. I, I could actually probably eat that. I'd probably finish this right now, but I'm trying to eat lunch, so I'm just gonna like take one more look and be done because it's like that good. It's good. It does taste like maple syrup, but um, but the sticky good. sweet maple syrup, not really like the whole. Do you guys know what I mean when I say there's a difference? Like there's a difference between like you know like I'll show you. Like we currently have Target brand maple syrup, Market Pantry, which is just original you know, sugary syrup, and this is what I use. And then we also have Pennsylvania pure maple syrup, which um, came from up in the Poconos, and this is like the real stuff, like this is the good stuff um, that uh, my family always prefers. But um, I <laughs> go for this and he'll use this. So this lollipop, I expected it to be more like this, since it's like more like whole maple syrup with not as much sugar. If you want to be a real man and grow a beard like Bond, put this on your pancakes. I'm serious. It won't let you down. Don't listen to a word she says. I'm telling the truth. That was Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. Yeah. Good maple lollipop. And what are we finishing off with today? We are finishing off in the UK, in England. The UK and England. Yay, England. Yay. Last stop on our World Showcase. Snack tour. Snack tour. England. What are you looking at over here? I could eat shortbread by the dozen. I love shortbread. Lots of Disney shortbread. So this all looks like more like dry, yeah, kind of biscuits and stuff. Um, it's like chocolate, but it has the bubbles in it. So it's like almost like aerated chocolate. Yeah, why well, is it green it in the middle? I don't know what this flavor is as I drop it. <laughs> I, break it. I don't know why it's green, but that's, those are okay. good. These are oh, the yeah. dairy milk biscuits are delicious. Mm. Macaroons. Well, this is a hard one. There's more in here than I thought there was gonna be. Oh, here. Like here's, oh, here's like the original. Yeah. Macaroons. Mm. Rachel said that this brand is all over, um, all over England. <clears throat> Do 
you want to do like this kind of sounds good to me this has is like mint crunch so there's like pieces of mint that are crunchy in here mm. mint chocolate that yeah. sounded. Okay, I'll do this one. Yes. Mint oh, chocolate yeah, yeah, crunch. Yeah, yeah. We have a theme for this one. We got two things, and we have a mint theme going on. So we picked up this Butler's Mint Crunch Dark Chocolate Bar, and um, ultimately we decided on this one because it looks like there's like actual chips of chocolate in there versus just. Um, like mint flavoring, like I feel like I'm used to from the chocolate here in America. Um, so this looked really interesting to me. And we also got Fox's Mints. So um, these were highly recommended to us from my sister-in-law. Why do you keep flying away? Because it like folks is weird. My sister-in-law recommended these because um, when she was studying abroad there, she said she had them and they are just her favorite mints ever and um, you can't really find them here. I, I'm thinking you could probably get them on like Amazon or something, but um, but they're not sold in the stores here. As far as I know, leave a comment below if you've seen them. I'm sure she'll be appreciative. <laughs> she wants to try to find them. Um, but to me, they kind of look like Jolly Ranchers, but they're clear and they're mint. So that'll be interesting. So we'll finish with that. But first, let's start with our chocolate bar here. It's a fancy chocolate bar. Fancy, huh? You're yeah. Fancy. Yeah. I'm not very graceful. There we go. This is like a Charlie the Chocolate Factory moment, opening a candy bar with yes, a wrapper. It's a very like fancy, nice candy bar. Well, here she goes, folks, opening up the golden ticket. Here we go. Get a golden ticket. Get a golden ticket. Do, 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 I wish do, I had a golden do, ticket. Do, 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 do. I don't remember how the rest of the song goes. It's Me been either. it's been a while since it's I've seen it. It is a good film. So there you go. Have a meal. You know, watch Charlie. Oh, it smells really good. Mm. There you it have it. Smells like mint chocolate. It smells really good. Okay, so we can break these off into squares, oh which is pretty nice. These are big squares, these too. Are very big squares. So I'll give you that. These are as big as the ones from France. So I'm so excited to see what this looks like on the inside. So I'm going to take a small bite first. There you go. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. If really you good. like York peppermint patties, this tastes just like it, except Yorks are very soft because they have the mint filling. Um, on the inside. These, the whole thing tastes like York, but it's a crunchier texture because the little bits of mint that are in here are and then, hard and um, whoops, I'm sorry. they're they're crunchy like, I'm trying to compare the crunch to something. Um, kind of like a crunch bar, like Nestle's crunch bar, kind of. Like, yeah, but not um, not as intense. Not like Rice crispy though. They're no. like, it's not too hard, but it's, um, but it's definitely a crunch. And the nice thing I like about this is kind of how like, as she's like trying to get the camera to focus in, do do do, do do do, elevator music, do do do, there we go. You can see the little bit of crunchies in there. Yeah. But um, the nice thing I like about these are, um, if you recall when you eat a York peppermint patty, it's like really like that intense mint, like boom, like it just hits you. This is probably about half of that. And it's tastes really good and very enjoyable. So I'd probably buy this again. It's dark chocolate. So it, it, it has a richer flavor. So I feel like one square of this is plenty for like, and honestly, I'm not even done my square. And I, maybe because I've had all it's these very, other snacks. It's very rich, very but rich it's, in flavor. It's so rich that I think I'm done with it right now. But it leaves a nice minty flavor in my mouth when I'm done, like not a heavy chocolate flavor. And, this, and the mint's like. not that intense either for the aftertaste, so that's why I think I'm really impressed with this. So, yeah. Very good. Final snack of the day. I think this is a good way to end, actually. I don't know if you want to call candy a snack, but I guess here in America we call anything a snack if it's edible. <laughs> so they come in little fox wrappers. Can I have one with me? Little fox wrappers. Okay. Oh my gosh. They and it's exactly what I thought they would look like. They literally it looks like a dry ice cube. They're the same size as Jolly Ranchers, but um, they are completely clear, which is crazy. Okay. 
Oh, wow. Yum. They're literally like Jolly Ranchers, but in like a minty fresh way. It's pretty mind blowing, actually. I'd buy these again. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're smooth in your mouth, but they're much larger than the mints we have in America. Anyways, if any of you guys know where we can buy these, like in the store, like a direct Amazon, eBay, whatever link we can get offline, please, 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 please leave these in the comment. Um, yeah. I'd probably rate these in my top three out of all those snacks we um, could acquire and enjoy today. They're stronger so. the more we, more, I'm sucking on it too. Yeah, it's pretty good. This is like a really good like after mint meal, you know, like a lot of places could give out, but. They look good. Yeah. Mm. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching us eat food. <laughs> we could do this video like five more times because there's so many different snacks in all these countries. And not only including countries, um, there's a lot of places around Disney that have their own. Like I know like everyone knows about the quick service and this, that, and the other, but there's a lot of snack options in Disney in general, so you never know. You might see some of that too in the next, so. If you guys have tried any of these snacks, leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear your opinion on them, especially the ones that were like, eh, I don't know. Um, and tell us, is there any snacks that you guys love that you've tried from the World Showcase that are worth our time giving a try and maybe next time we're there? Um, because there's just so many options. There's so much good food. Disney World is full of all sorts of delicious snacks, whether it's, you know, at the little stands throughout the parks or, you know, more unique ones inside of the countries. Also the food and wine festival too, because the portions they give out are like very like snack portion size. It's not like a meal. So yeah, you might see that from us too. We'll see. The so. food and wine festival as well as flower and garden and now festival of the arts. Um, which they just finished up their first season of that festival in Epcot as well. They're all great ways to try um, food from each of the countries without having to go to each of the restaurants um, because they're smaller plates and uh, a little less expensive than a full meal. So those are great ways to branch out and try new things. I'm glad we did this. This was fun because you know we we've done the food and wine festival as well as flower and garden. Um, hopefully Festival of the Arts next year because we missed that this year by a couple weeks. But you know, I think being able to go into the countries and actually look through the food that they have there, you know, the snacks that they would just pick up at their local gas station and stuff, um, is pretty cool. It's interesting. So yeah. this was a lot of fun. Hope you guys had fun too. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.